got to see if we can run the ball a little bit better and see if we can can you know secure some of the things we need to secure protect a little bit better try to get in some open spaces keep working on what we're doing what we need to do to get better as an offense the Wildcats football team enjoyed some time off this past week in their bye week, but now they look ahead to the next game as they get ready to head down to North Carolina this Saturday, September 29th, to play Elon University. We always talk about a practice with Coach Mack and the other coaches about um, starting fast and then finishing strong. So we want to start fast. Um, hopefully it gets us out to a, a good lead, hopefully on Saturday, and um, pretty much maintain that lead and then finish in the fourth quarter. Elon presents, as Coach Max says, a run-stopping defense. So UNH offense is going to have to find a way to get around that and create more space. We have uh, some pretty big uh, D linemen and really good linebackers. Uh, but it's just going to take us being physical, like usual, and uh, know our assignments, like I said. Uh, and just they'll open up for the pass game, and they'll open up for the run game. So like I said, we just have to do our job. There's good size within the tackle, so it's hard, you know. We got to try to create some space there, try to get out of the perimeter, and then take what they give us, you know, try to figure out how to move the ball against them. The UNH injury list is seeing some movement this week, and although offensive lineman Dane Heron and wide receiver Malik Love are doubtful to play, defensive end Kyle Reisert, who hasn't seen action since last year's Elon game, is expected to travel down south for some long snap, short snap opportunities. Trevor Knight is seeing some progress as well as he's gaining more strength and throwing the ball more in practice. Trevor looks better than he did last week. It's a matter of that thing healing. And the biggest question we all have to answer, you know, can he throw it? Can he throw it without altering his motion? And then more importantly, how much physical um, contact can he take? You know, Dane Heron's still out. You know, he's going to be out. He has a stress fracture in his back. And Kyle will make the trip. I don't know if he'll play. He'll make the trip. I know he'll long snap and short snap for us, but I don't know if he'll play down football inside it. We've been practicing better. I feel like we're coming along as an offense more and just have to rely on our defense to stop them and we just have to put points on the board. Um, that's always one of the main things that we talk about and preach about at practice is stopping the run and they do a very good job of running the ball. They have two stellar running backs um, and we have to make sure we wrap up and tackle. And if we don't do those basic things, um, we might be in for a world of trouble, but as long as we can do those things, we'll, I think we'll be okay. And I think being able to stop the run and making them pass the ball and making them throw the ball and put the ball in the air with our secondary being so experienced as they are, um, I feel like that would benefit us in the, in the long run. I'm sure they're going to come to play when we get there on Saturday, and that's what we have to do too. The Wildcats head down south to Rhodes Stadium in North Carolina where they play the number 11 ranked Elon University this Saturday, September 29th at 1.30 p.m. For UNH Wildcat Productions, I'm Natalie Norrie.